I uh, married a sheep herder out north of Hewlett, and his mother uh, and father homesteaded in 1906 out on what's called Government Canyon, and they drove from there in the uh, in the fall to Aladdin, Wyoming, to the railroad came to Aladdin because there was a, a coal mine there at that time and they ordered groceries from Sears and Roebuck and drove out from out the Montana border clear over to Aladdin and picked up their groceries which was flour and sugar and always had dried apples and raisins and I don't know what else it's mostly staples I guess this happened in our neighborhood. It may have been my folks, it may have been somebody else. Uh, everybody made cottage cheese. They didn't have a wire strainer to strain it through. It was strained in the little cotton bag that salt came in, as a general rule. <coughs> well, that old whey was very, very sour, and after you used the bag numerous times, you know, it really didn't come out too well. <laughs> well, the lady was having a community party, and she had one of the big old coffee pots, you know, that you just dump the coffee in, but she didn't just dump the coffee in, she put it in a salt bag. Well, she goofed and she got the bag that she used for cheese. <laughs> so, she served very good coffee that night for her party. <laughs> <laughs> well, they probably drank it because it was probably during the war when you didn't have a lot of coffee. Besides, you didn't plug the coffee pot in and get some more in a little bit. It took well, his kid, like, Jake Conley had had Conley's Cafe here later, was, uh, herding sheep not too far from their place. And every Monday's mother would uh, wash clothes and make ham and beans. Well, they could get on this one hill and watch clothesline, and he knew how many clothes had to be out there to, to where he'd be there about the right time for ham and beans every Monday. <laughs> <laughs>